Hello ladies and gents, how's it going today? Your buddy Serge here bringing you yet another opinions video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the weapons of what TF2 classifies as the attack classes being Pyro, Soldier, and Scout. Before this video begins, I just wanted to proudly say that, with the help of my good friends at Skyle, we opened up a payload service to celebrate. On Saturday at 3pm Eastern, I'm going to be on there streaming and collecting footage for my video on the 30th. The video on the 30th is also my 7 year anniversary on Steam, so if you want to be in the footage, be sure to join me. IP is in the description. I also suggest you join me either on Discord or my Steam group, or follow me on Twitch so you don't miss out. Links to all of those are also in the description. Alright now, let's strap up and explore the first three classes of TF2's roster, and begin. Easily one of the best and most consistent weapon in the game. I'm not really a fan of this weapon. What? Hey, hey, come on guys, that was a good fucking joke. Jesus Christ. I can't really use this weapon, but the Ouija Poos and Ray video on it had me in hysterics. I'll miss them. Goodbye, my lover. Goodbye, my friend. The video must go on. Let's continue. Ouija Poodis, Ray, whatever you guys are doing, take care and stay well. Thanks for the laughs. I look forward to your return. Once a year, a herd of adult scouts, after hatching their young, embark on the first and only flight of their lives. It's fun, but pretty bad. Same case applies. Consistent. Cool looking and consistent. Silly looking and consistent. Mobility consistent. This one's just trash. Really only like that as a set. It justifies my opinion for the Sandman later. Gimmicky, but pretty bad. Pretty bad. Ideally my favorite scout secondary, but this one is just straight up better. Aesthetically and because of how source physics work, gameplay wise as well. Pretty bad. Pretty bad. Pretty bad. It's cooler than the last ones, but still pretty bad. Pretty bad. It's fun, but the fact that soldiers and demos kill you more consistently with this equipped makes it pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good and looks pretty cool. Pretty bad. Good in MVM, but otherwise pretty bad. Before I say it's pretty good, but now that it needs to be deployed, it's just alright. Pretty bad. Tied for one of my favorite weapons in this game. I just love this thing. And this is actually my favorite weapon in this game. It just sounds so good. I love its center destroying and air shot potential. That's a good weapon. This thing's annoying with conch popped and pretty bad alone. I'm putting these together because the only time I use these is when they're together. But the set's super fun. Pretty bad. Pretty good, just not my cup of tea. I've seen people do some mad rollouts with this thing. I personally don't really care too much for it, but I don't hate it either. Pairing these two together because I don't see them separately. Probably because they're not good separately, but I don't mind them. I'm going to be evaluating the shotgun as a role on every class it's usable for, not just as a whole. On Soldier, whether you're using it to finish off enemies or on its own, I think it's really good. I've seen people, especially pros, work wonders with this thing, but in my opinion, stock's just better. If my team isn't doing too well, I use this. I really like it. Normally play Roma wherever I go, and this is, without question, the best utility weapon in the game. Man, this thing's amazing. I've been seeing this more frequently used in pubs and such, and it's ruined a lot of my crits, so it's actually pretty good. Surprise him with the bu- okay, no, jokes aside, I actually don't mind this weapon. I just wish they had buffed it. Pretty bad, pretty bad, pretty bad. So same case applies with the shotgun, except on the pain train. It's... It's alright on soldier. I, I'll, I'll just say it's pretty bad. So I've seen some soldiers build with this, but the escape line kind of just does that job better, so... Uh, pretty bad. Well, the soldier mirrorlights I actually think is good. Allows me to help new players get to the battle faster, and really makes me feel like a teammate, and not an individual. This is my go-to soldier melee. I get away with a lot of shit because of this thing. I don't know how much more better it is from pre to post Jungle Inferno, but I'm just gonna say it's pretty solid. I just hate the new flamethrower particles. Holy shit, they are so thick. I really wish we got the old ones back. Just a cuter version of stock. I don't mind it. Just a funnier looking version of stock. I don't mind it. <laughs> this weapon is so brain dead, dude. I hate it. I don't see many powers use this thing, but I still use the Puppin Sting set from back in the day, so I like this thing. A lot of people don't like this, and while I don't use it, I don't really have an issue with it being around. I'm glad they did what they did to this thing in Blue Moon. Genuine feels like the weapon for power that requires the most skill. I like it. 
On a class who really benefits from getting in there, I'd say this thing is really good. Pretty bad. Super fun, but aside from the gem fight, it's just outclassed with Scorch Shot. Pretty bad. If there's one weapon I think needs a nerf, it's the Scorch Shot. It has way too many upsides. I can't really give love to this thing for any classes. It just, it just sucks. It's pretty bad. Gimmicky, but otherwise, pretty bad. We're on 20 now. Jeez Louise. Okay, MVM, pretty bad everywhere else. Pretty bad. Pretty bad. I like playing Pybro a lot, and I've had a strange one of these with, uh... Sapper's destroyed part on it for god knows how long. I like this thing. If there were strange variants of this, I would cop one immediately. But this is still pretty cool. Pretty fun weapon. I just kind of wish it was a little bit better. I like using this from time to time, but it's pretty bad. Pretty bad. Pretty bad. Pretty bad. And before we go, do you remember that little skirt that was giving our 2 4 Pyro Shock some trouble? Well, if there's one thing you need to know about the Pyro Shock, it's very simple. They always get their kill always don't forget about that little server event i mentioned at the very beginning of the video as for now let's go wrap it up i thank you guys so much for watching take care as always have a good one